Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this open shot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a flip effect or mirror effect on your video. Now currently open shot doesn't provide a built in flip or mirror effect. So you're going to have to do this manually. Now there are a few ways that which you could do that. So the first way is we're going to go ahead and drag our clip down to our project timeline. Make sure it's selected and then right click on your mouse and then choose transform. Now you're going to see these blue handles around your video clip and all you have to do is drag the actual handle from one side to another. So if you wanted to flip it from left to right, you would drag from left to right and you want to go right to left, you do it the other way. And if you wanted to flip it vertically up or down, you could do it that way as well. So in this way, I'm going to go left to right. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this right here and then move it over to the right. You're going to have to hold that down and then flip it over. Now, the only thing with this is you got to do this manually and make sure it's scaled properly. But as you can see here, our video has now been flipped or mirrored. And now instead of it being in the original position, now it's the other way. And so that's the first way to do it. However, the only thing I don't like about this method is that you're going to have to resize it manually. And so if for some reason you don't do that correctly, uh, your image or videos are not going to be in the correct proportion. So there is another way to do that. And that way is through actually using the properties itself. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to the original position, which is right here. So we're going to do the same thing as we did before. Make sure the clip is selected, right click on your mouse and then go to properties. And now you can actually adjust these values by just putting in numbers. And by doing it this way, I really feel that this is going to be more accurate because you're actually putting in numbered values instead of manually trying to adjust this video or clip yourself. And so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are at the very beginning of your clip. So if your playhead is somewhere else, go here and choose previous marker and it'll go back to the very beginning of your clip. And once you're there, go to scale X because you want to flip this horizontally. You could do this vertically as well, but in this case, we want to mirror it uh, horizontally. So we're going to go ahead and choose the scale X property and then double click. And then you're going to type in negative one and then you're going to press enter. And if you notice, my video image has now been flipped or mirrored exactly. So this is the correct dimensions. You don't have to worry about whether or not this is flipped correctly because it's done numerically. And so now your entire video is flipped or mirrored. And so I really feel this is the easiest way to do that. And if for some reason you wanted to reset everything, all you'd have to do is go here to the actual property and then go to your keyframe, right click on your mouse and then remove keyframe and it'll go back to its original value or you could type in the value yourself. So that's the easiest way, in my opinion, uh, to actually flip or mirror your video and it is the most accurate. So now let's go ahead and add some animation to this. Now adding animation to your actual video flip is going to require that you use more keyframes. Now there are a number of ways in which you can do this, but the way I'm going to show you is going to be the simplest way, in my opinion, in order to do this and to show you this animation from the beginning position over to the new position. So what you want to do is go to the point where you think you want to start, you know, flipping your video. So let's say for example, right here, this is where I wanted to start. So what you want to do is go into your properties, go to the scale X, select it, and then right click on your mouse and then insert keyframe. So what this is going to do is up until this point, it's going to keep this same exact scale property. So it's going to remain in that position. And now you're going to choose the point in your clip where you want the actual, you know, animation or flip to happen. And so it's going to slowly transition to that new position. So let's say, for example, I want it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in a new value. And once you put in a new value, it will create a keyframe automatically. So now it's flipped over, but this is where the animation occurs. So let's go ahead and watch it at the beginning. We're going to go ahead and play. So it starts off original position and then it flips over to the new position. And as you notice, there was an animation there. And so you could have a lot of fun with this. There are many things that you can do with this, but that is a way that you could actually add animation to flip your video from the beginning position over to the mirrored position.
For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And now the final thing that I want to show you with the flip video effect is the ability to use it as a jump cut or a cut from one scene to another. So this way you have some variation in your video and it's really super simple to do. All you have to do is go to your clip and mark the area where you actually want this cut to happen and go ahead and make the cut. So we'll go ahead and make a cut right here. And now you'll notice that your clip is cut from this portion to this portion. And all you have to do is on the second part of the clip, just do what you did last time. You know, go to the beginning of the playhead and then the scale factor, make it negative one so that the second part of this clip will flip over. So if you go back to the beginning and you watch this, you know, here's the beginning position and then it cuts over to the second clip and now it flips over to a different angle. And you could add as many as you want. So that way you could actually you know, add some variety to your video without actually creating a brand new video or creating a different angle with your camera. And so you can have a lot of fun with this and just, you know, play around, you know, see what works best for you. But that is a way that you could create a lot of variety and also make it more interesting using the same exact clip. So if you actually had any thoughts on this flip or mirror video effect, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my open shot tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me, and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.